Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. Happy Friday. Yay, we made it through the week. It is a little gray and drizzly, so my lighting may be a little poor for probably the next nine months here in Seattle. <laughs> but regardless, I'm gonna just keep on chugging. I don't have a ring light or any fancy lighting, so we're just gonna do the best that we can. It's drizzly and fall has hit pretty hard here. It was beautiful and sunny for part of the day yesterday, which was wonderful, um, but it's Friday, and so I wanted to hop on here and talk to you about the books that I have read and finished since I talked to you last, what I'm currently working on, and then a few books that I have recently received as a presence. So let's just jump right in. So what I finished this week is one, Airs Above the Ground by Mary Stewart. I am I'm on a Mary Stewart kick, you guys. I love her so much. I had no idea. Um, this book was not um, a five star for me, even though I loved the, the suspense, I loved the characters, the plot of this one. And if you don't know, Mary Stewart is, I would say, a romantic suspense writer, and she does such a good job building the story and then jumping into the suspense and just keeping your heart pounding in a really great way throughout the whole second half of the book. Um, but this one was focused on horses and a circus, which just didn't grab me quite as much as uh, the last one that I had finished, um, which was Madam Will You Talk, which was, I, I talked to talked to you already about that one. Um, but this one, so this one was still good, and I love this edition. There she is on the back. Um, but, but just because the plot didn't quite resonate with me as much, um, I didn't love it quite as much as the next one that I finished this week, which is Nine Coaches Waiting. A few of you had recommended that I read that one for my next one, and that one, I don't have a physical copy. I have it on my Kindle, which I will talk about in a second, because this is also wonderful. Um, but Nine Coaches Waiting is a, it was set in a French chateau, and Mary Stewart has this formula. The ones that I have read so far are the heroine who befriends a younger boy and they are on the lam together in some kind of fashion. And she followed that formula here. It was, it was the main character, a young woman named Linda and her, her young charge, she is a governess in a French chateau. So of course, that is right up my alley. Had a couple of Jane Eyre references, which was really fun. And I love the setting, I love the characters. Mary Stewart also always comes through with a great ending. I never have to feel any anxiety that it's gonna end badly, knock on wood, right? It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> um, she just, she ends things perfectly wraps everything up and I yeah I loved Nine Coaches Waiting it was absolutely fantastic which leads me into the next thing that I wanted to talk about which was so exciting on my last video where I talked about Mary Stewart Steve Donahue reached out to me and said he had some Kindle books and would I like them? And I said, yes, please. And so he emailed me a huge pile of Mary Stewart's and Angela Thurkle's. So I now have a big pile of these on my Kindle and I'm so excited because you know I love to lay in bed and read at night in the dark under the covers. It's so cozy and I like having these books on my Kindle, but they are still six or seven dollars each on Amazon and my library doesn't have them on ebooks. And so I was like, oh, I don't want to spend that much money. Um, but now I have them all on my Kindle 
If you haven't already done this, it's very easy. I was a little bit worried that it would be hard to get them from an email to my Kindle. It took like three minutes. You virtually just um, have to grab your email address from your Kindle account. You have your own special Kindle email address and you just email the books to your Kindle email and they upload like magic. It was fantastic. So I was very excited about that. I think there were probably 25 books in that pile. I was so grateful and they're so much fun. So now I have most of the Mary Stewart's that I want to read next all on my Kindles. So excited about that. So grateful for that gift. And then the next book that I want to talk about that was also a gift is da, 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 The Secrets of Heartwood Hall by Katie Lumsden, our own beloved Katie Lumsden of Victober. Um, I had read this. I, I signed up for a NetGalley account last year just so that I could read this book and I loved it. I gave it five stars and I had originally pre-ordered it, but I think I think what happened was when I did my pre-order in the intervening time, I, maybe my credit card expired and I, you know, so it had a different like CV code or something on it. So my credit card didn't end up going through. And then, and so I, they emailed me and then I just kind of forgot to follow up. And so I never got my original pre-order. And I'm so, so sorry, Katie, that I didn't follow up with that. Um, but hopefully you still got the credit for the pre-order. Um, but so I've been really sad that I don't have it. And a friend of mine ended up with two copies, both of which are signed, which is so much fun. If you haven't read this book, it is really, really good. It It is the Victorian novel I wish women in the Victorian era could have written, but couldn't. <laughs> Usually like um, Tenant of Wildfell Hall, I was like, oh, I wish it had ended differently. Um, but this one ended perfectly. I loved it. So, so I was very excited to get this to add to my collection. And then lastly, what I am working on, I'm still working on The Return of the Native um, by Thomas Hardy. I am about halfway through that. Um, he's a beautiful writer. His his language is just gorgeous, but I'm getting a little bit bogged down with this one. Mm, it's I'm not I'm not it's not grabbing me quite as much as uh, the Mayor of Casterbridge did last year when I read the Mayor of Casterbridge. But I am planning to finish it, and I'm gonna start Weathering Heights after this. Um, I'm going to. I am going to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm working on the, the Mayor of Cast, uh, excuse me, the Return of the Native. I'm reading that on my Kindle. The nice thing about most of these classics at the, is that they're all available or most of them are available um, for free on my Kindle, which is great. Uh, so I'm working on the Return of the Native for Victober. And then lastly, you all know how I love Barbara Pym. One fun thing this week, for whatever reason that popped up in my YouTube suggestions, was a short film called Miss Pym's Day Out. And it was a, I think it was made back in the 80s or so, starring Patricia Rutledge, who is one of my all-time favorite English actors. I love her in everything. She was a detective in Hetty Wainthrop Investigates, one of my favorites. Um, she was, of course, the main character in Hyacinth Bouquet in Keeping Up Appearances. And so when this popped up in my suggestions, I had to watch it. And it was a very sweet, story of um, Barbara Pym's day leading up to going to the Booker Prize ceremony. And it was just a very sweet, slow-paced 
story about her day and her life. And it was just fantastic. But that reminded me that I needed to pick up another Barbara Pym. And I have a whole shelf of them up here. And I, I read one last month that I loved. And I decided I was just going to start at the beginning of my shelf and work my way through all of them. So I grabbed the first one in the pile and it was an unsuitable attachment. So this is the one that I am working on now. I'm just barely maybe about 50 pages into it. It's not very long, so I should finish it this uh, weekend. Um, but it is so far absolutely wonderful. I'm loving it and I love this addition. This, I think I already showed you this one. This is also a present um, from the same friend that sent me this, who is, she's like my, my book crack pusher. <laughs> so I love my book mail and I'm very happy to be reading another Barbara Pym this month. Um, so that is it for me. I gotta look at my notes because if I don't look at my notes, I usually forget something, but nope, that was it. That was all I wanted to talk to you about. Um, what are you reading this weekend? I'm very curious to hear and I'll talk to you later. Bye.